Hey guys, Volkerp Sesame here. Today I will be showing you how to transplant two small super hot peppers into cracky hydrophonics using the easiest way you can. So, all you will, will need is some potting soil, just normal ones, not uh, strong compost, just potting soil. Your preferred nutrients, two containers for your cracky, homemade, and then just five centimeter net cups and of course your seedlings one thing you always want to make sure is you've got the overflow hole and the way you want to measure that is just roughly that space two centimeter to three centimeters by doing that it's allowing the water never to touch the net cup and by doing that you will always succeed in it so let's start by transplanting the first one First one I'll be using is a Jace Peach Co Scorpion Cross with a 7 pot Primo Red. So let's get to it. Okay, so start with removing most of the soil from your seating. Just so you can expo expose one good root to a dangle in the nutrient solution. So. Something to support the net cup while I'm planting it. And now just gently get one of the roots through the bottom. If you're strugg struggling, you can just use a chopstick or something to get it through, just to help you. Okay, just like that, that's all you need. Now the next part, just get some potting soil and just fill it with potting soil. This is one of the easiest ways you can do it. When filling it with potting soil, just lightly tap in the soil, just to firm it up a little bit. Just watch out that you don't snap the stem. Okay. And you're done. One good long root hanging out the bottom, that's all you need to start a good strong root structure. Okay. Next part, you just want to make up your nutrients using NutriFeed. It's what I use for all my plants, veggies, and it it's super, it's like a steroid for chili plants. I like this one. The second one I'll be transplanting is a yellow Carolina, a Carolina Reaper and I'll be using my own nutrient blend for that one. So, just get a little bit of the NutriFeed. There's almost nothing in there because it's still early, early stages so you don't want to burn the roots. Fill it and then just fill it with normal tap water. up to the line where you can come out now get the one you just planted in the soil and just lightly dampen it not too much because you don't want it to stay wet for too long okay just a little bit more Okay, just like, just like that. Place it in the yogurt tub, and then you're done. Put that one aside, 
Okay, so now I'll be moving on to the yellow Carolina Reaper. So just like the first time, I'll start with mo uh, removing most of the soil. Just exposing the roots again. Just like that. Get your net crop. Something to support it. Then just gently get one good root through the bottom, just like that. That's all you need to start with. That would work. Just fill it up with soil again. Just like that. To the top. Lightly press it down a little bit, not too much. And then remove the excess soil. And here it is. Get your tub. The nutrients. You can see this one is a blue, a little bit of a blue color, color. The one I mix myself. I will be tasting this one now. Fill it with water. And lightly dampen the seating you just transplanted. Just like that. And now if the if you, uh, you cannot get one good root through the bottom, just plant it in a net cup, fill your container with the nutrients, and the roots will soon realize that there's uh, nutrients to the bottom, and they will quickly grow new roots through the bottom. So yes, that's all to it and now I will be uh, putting these uh, indoors under LED grow lights because uh, the season cur currently ended for me. So yes, I will be growing them over winter indoors. So yes, thank you.